What's up, Cal Gang? Today we got some line integral work. So what we got here is we have this line integral and we have this function, basically this graph of what the line integral looks like and it wants us to you know, figure out what the integral is. So what we gotta do first is we gotta, we gotta basically split this into two curves because what, what we know about line integrals is if it's not like a continuous curve, you see there's this bump right here. That means you have to split it up into two integrals. We can't just solve it normally. So this is gonna be C1 and this is gonna be C2. So how do we define C1 and C2? Well, we're gonna define them as vectors. So C1, it's gonna look like this. C1 is equal to. So it starts at the origin, so it's gonna just be a line segment from zero, zero. So it goes over two and up one. So it's gonna be two, T, and then just T on the integral, or on the, uh, on the you know, section from zero to greater than T, it's greater than one. All right, so that's C1. Uh, how about C2? C2 is this thing. This thing, okay, so it starts at 2, 1. So we know about C2. It's gonna have to go something like this. It's gonna have to start at 2. And then you see that it goes negative t. Or never mind, it doesn't go negative t. X goes forward 1, so it's gonna be 2 plus t. And then if we look at y, it starts at 1. And then it goes down 1 t. Or it goes down 1, so it's gonna be negative t on the integral from 0, or you know, on the, on the thing from 0 to 2 to 1. And if you plug in, basically, t is equal to zero, t is equal to one, it'll give you your starting point and your end point. So that's how you know that this is good. All right, so now we can set up our integral, basically. But what it's gonna be is it's gonna be a big series of integrals, and it's gonna be such a big integral that I'm gonna start all the way over here. It's probably gonna go to the other end. So it's gonna look something like this. So it goes from zero to one. Uh, all right, so our integral, we have that in our, our thing for our, the first line. We see that x is equal to two t, and y is equal to t, right? All right, so from zero to one, x is equal to two t, so it's gonna be two t plus two t. But then we have the dx, so what do we do with the dx? Well, what we do is we say dx, because x is equal to two t, dx is equal to two dt. So we have the dx, what we have to do is when we turn that dt, or we turn this dx into a two dt, so we have to multiply by two dt, and then, okay, so now onto our next x squared, x squared, or two, x is equal to 2t, so that can be 4t squared. And then again, we have to do um, the 2dt. All right, that's our first integral. So now for our next integral, it goes from zero to one. Uh, it's again, x is equal to two plus t this time, plus two y, which is plus two minus two t. Now dx, we have to consider that it's our second integral and we can't just put in the two. We take the derivative with respect to x, is it just equal to dt? So nothing, no change is gonna happen here, it's just gonna be dt. And then the plus x squared, x is equal to two plus t, so you have to foil that. So it's gonna be t squared plus four t plus four. And then dy, what's dy gonna become? Oh, not that. <laughs> dy, it's gonna be this, so it's gonna be negative dt, right? All right, so we can bring out a negative, negative dt. Hopefully I don't forget that. All right, so here's our ginormous integral. It's pretty ugly looking, and we can simplify it, so let's do that. And so these dt's can actually just be put together because it's the same thing, or pretty much. So what it's gonna look like, so the two t squared, oh, let's just put this up front, four t squared plus four t, or never mind, that's just gonna be plus AT, right? And then, so then our next integral. Now actually we could bring these two integrals together. I'm gonna keep them apart because it's you know simpler or whatever. So let's see what we got here. I can't even read my own handwriting. All right, so we got negative T squared. So we have negative four T. We have a, a T, a negative T. So it's gonna be negative five T. And then we have minus four, a plus four. So those are gonna cancel out. All right, there we have it. Now let's go ahead and integrate this. So this is gonna become four t to the third over three plus four t squared from zero to one. This is going to be negative t to the third over three minus five t squared over two from zero to one. Solving this some more, this is gonna be four thirds plus four 
minus one third minus five halves, right? That one, right? All right, uh, let's do some simplify. So four thirds minus one third is just gonna be equal to one, so it's gonna be five minus five halves. Uh, this is going to be 10 over two minus five over two, which is just equal to five over two. And that's our answer right there. So yeah, that's how you solve this problem. Uh, kind of a lot of things to keep track of, but just remember that you have to split your integrals into two. You have to dx, just you know, pretty much convert dx to dt. Don't forget your constant that comes out of that. It's negative, don't forget the negative. Yeah, that's how you do it. So good luck on your calc homework.